What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority and the Android Q first developer preview came out today and I have it running here on my Pixel 3 XL. It's also available for the regular Pixel 3, uh, the Pixel 2s and even the original Pixel. So if you have a Pixel phone, you can flash it starting today. And there's a lot of changes with Android Q, a lot of under the hood stuff, a lot of changes with things like privacy and security and changes to stuff like Vulkan and a bunch of other stuff. Um, a lot of stuff that doesn't really show too well on video, but if you guys wanna learn more about that stuff, we cover that on the site. Uh, so if you wanna read up on that, we have our written articles. We'll link that down below in the description. So make sure to check that out. Uh, but in this video, we're just gonna cover a lot of the uh, visual changes and some of the features that they've added here to Android Q. Uh, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. All right, so when it comes to visual changes, there really aren't a ton. Uh, for the most part, Android Q pretty much looks identical to Android Pie. Um, one of the most noticeable changes though is the font. So Google's been using product sans uh, on certain parts of the OS like the Google feed and Google maps and things like that. But Google product sans is now the official default font. You'll see this font uh, in your notification shade now, also in your notifications and even in the settings menu. So this is the default font across the board throughout the entire Android OS. Uh, another change is the settings menu itself. Uh, some of the icons are a little bit different, but for the most part, they're exactly the same. Uh, the Wi-Fi icon, for example, is this three bar icon instead of the uh, pizza slice or whatever you want to call it. And your uh, app permissions, your location and security are all, all now individually grouped. Uh, before location and security were actually bundled together and then your app permissions were actually under apps and notifications and technically they still kind of are you have to tap on advanced now and then you can get to your app permissions from there uh, but if we go back here it's actually quicker to get to them from privacy if you tap on privacy your app permissions are right there again same exact place and you can make the adjustments that you need uh, another big change is the location app permissions. And this is gonna be something that a lot of people really appreciate. So now when you go into your app permissions for location, you now have the option to allow the location access all the time, allow only while the app is in use or deny it entirely. And allow only while the app is in use seems to be the default setting. And I think that's probably for the best. And that's probably gonna be the most popular option that people are gonna pick. So if you had any concerns about about privacy over your location data, things like that. Uh, this will probably make you uh, more at ease. And I think um, a lot of people are gonna like this change with the location uh, app permission. Uh, another change here visually, uh, not an official change because it's under the developer options, but you can now change the accent colors. So if you go to developer options and you scroll all the way to the very bottom, uh, you have accent colors here and it's not one plus level of accent colors. There's only a few to pick from and it's not super uh, extensive. So you have the default obviously, which is blue and then you have black, green and purple. Uh, black is my favorite, but I'll show you purple here or green. I mean, there's green and uh, you can see that your notification shade is green. And let me show you purple and there is purple and you can see that your notification toggles are purple and you'll see this accent throughout other parts of the OS as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and go back to black here. One change to Android Q that might be a little bit controversial is the way that notifications are cleared now. So previously you could clear notifications by swiping them to the left or to the right. Now you can only clear notifications by swiping them to the right. So if I swipe this notification to the right, it clears as normal. But if you swipe it to the left, it brings up your context menu instead for blocking the notification or snoozing it and what have you. Uh, so if you were more of a person that liked to swipe your notifications to the left, you no longer have that option. Uh, you're basically being forced to only swipe them in one direction. I actually personally did not notice this because I like to swipe mine towards the right, uh, but that's how it is here, at least for now. This, keep in mind, this could change down the road when Android Q officially comes out. Another change here that's kind of interesting, and this one is actually specific to the Pixel 3 XL, uh, is the way that screenshots work. So when you take a screenshot on the Pixel 3 XL, it actually now screenshots the notch. So 
I'll show you what I mean here. So I'll go to my photos and I'll show you some screenshots that I took earlier. And here they are. And you can see that it's a screenshot, but you now have the notch taken within the screenshot as well, which is a little bit interesting. I don't think I really like this. I want a normal screenshot when I take a screenshot. And as far as I can tell, there is not an option to take a normal screenshot on the Pixel 3 XL on this preview. Um, there might be one in here, I just haven't been able to find it, or they might add the option to where you can take a normal screenshot later on in later builds. So we'll have to wait and see, but for right now, I personally don't like this change. Uh, but again, it's only specific if you have the Pixel 3 XL. So the last big change that I wanna mention is the new emergency button. And this is accessible in the power menu. So if you hold down the power button here, obviously you have your power off, restart, and screenshot options. But now you have a new emergency button down below here. And if you tap on that, this will take you to your dialer. And obviously your emergency information is up above, provided that you have filled something out for the first responder to look at. And before this was accessible on the lock screen with a button down below, uh, but now it's much quicker and easier to get to with just the power button and you can access this from anywhere whether the phone is locked or unlocked uh, but that's really it for all the major visuals and feature changes with android q again there's a bunch more changes with android q especially under the hood and like i mentioned earlier if you want to find out about that stuff make sure to check out the description we'll leave some links down below to the written articles and let us know your thoughts of android q down in the description let us know if you've tried it and let us let us know what you guys think of the new features in android Q. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.